Well, only one game on Thursday, but I'm going to talk about it. And if you're here watching me right now, that means you're just like me. You're sick. You're sick. That's all right, though. We got a ton of games on Saturday. Nothing on Friday. Uh, do we have Sunday games? Yeah, two Sunday games, but essentially everything's on Saturday. That's going to be a hell of a heavy lift as far as the video goes for me. But that's all right. We're here. I'll get you in and out. Um, yesterday or last week, mixed bag. You know, Thursday, we got the under on that Pats game. Cruise to that. Got the first half on the Giants. We hit that big plus 145 money line win for Minnesota, but and the Vikings and Browns did us dirty. We got Seattle too, uh, but the big one, and that segues perfectly into this game between the Eagles and the Ravens was we got Nick Sirianni right. He said he was going to play a starter like all the way up until kickoff, basically, and never did. We said that you'd be crazy to do it. He didn't. And then, well, we just got the result wrong. So that sucked. But we're here. We still got plenty of preseason left. So, hey, uh, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And if you're ever looking for any, I do threads on these. I do full out breakdowns if it's easier for you to read them. Picks, any breaking news for these games over on X or formerly Twitter. Lafay underscore D, L-O-U-G-H-Y underscore D. So come hit me up over there if you're looking for football content, not just in the preseason, but obviously through the regular season and a bunch of other stuff. But, you know, this game, Eagles are two and a half point dogs. On the road, 36-point total. Like I said, we were right about Sirianni not playing his starters. The, the the quarterbacking was just garbage for Baltimore. I mean, terrible. It wasn't even good for Philly either. Plus, we had Jake Elliott missing kicks, which is uncharacteristic. Like, we had a real shot to win. Then Emory Jones fumbles. Jake Elliott kicks that. It wouldn't have mattered anyway if it ended in a tie. Like, what difference does that make for us? But... Um, I'd be shocked if Sirianni plays any starters in week two, really. Like, he never has in the past. Never has in the past. Uh, and the Eagles just absolutely steam. Go look this up. They steamrolled the Pats in those joint practices. I've already said, like, these teams view the joint practices kind of as the preseason game. But when I say they steamroll, I, I mean they destroyed them to the point where the Patriots allowed 15 sacks, right? Practice, you know, sacks. And had 14 completed passes. Think about that for a second. They dominated him from start to finish. Boston Sports Journal, uh, Greg Bedard called it a complete train wreck. So across the board, it was a disaster. Why am I mentioning all of this? Why am I wasting your time? Well, think about this. One team clearly has more to work on than the other. And as far as quarterbacks go, as far as quarterbacks go, Sirianni's only ever played his twos and threes in these week two games. Maybe that changes um, because he usually reserves the fourth string quarterback on the depth chart for like week three and sometimes week one. But Gerard Mayo, he probably starts Jacoby Brissett again. And he already stated on separate occasions that Drake May is going to play a lot more than he did in week one. He said he's going to have way more opportunities. And then he doubled down, said he's going to play a good amount in this game. Doesn't tell us much, though, because what's he's going to play a lot more than he did in week one when it was only one series in week one. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if he starts this game. That's why it's kind of a tough game to bet. Not one I love. We're going to have, like I said, what, 14 or 13 of them on Saturday. You think about it, though. We know very little about Drake Drake May from like a, 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 a NFL perspective. Yes, he's the third overall pick. They expect big things from him. He could play a quarter and a half and he could be great. Or he could play the same amount or less and be out there with the second stringers and be terrible. Uh, but I would lean the Patriots. Lean. Small play here. I would lean the Patriots minus two and a half. There are threes out there. Make sure you get the two and a half. Because they, I think they just have so much more to figure out. Like, not just who's going to make the 53-man roster, but how they're going to function as a semi-competent, passable NFL team in 2024. Uh, and these games just, they have to mean more to Mayo than they do to Sirianni right now. I'd also lean under 36. You can get this at 36 and a half on ESPN. I bet at, uh, ESPN if you're over there. But um, give me a small play, Patriots minus two and a half. We'll have some fun watching a Thursday preseason game under 36. It's not like we can get player props or anything. But uh, for now, that's it. Check me back here on Friday. All of the games for Saturday and Sunday. We'll have you covered right here on Odd Shopper. And subscribe if you haven't done so yet. We'll see you guys back here soon. Peace.